In an ideal world, meritocracy would be the base for society. Students would get equal opportunities and fair and impartial assessments to determine their merit. A world where everyone has the same chance to succeed and their success is solely based on their work ethic and individual merit. Here we have two elite school students hard at work. party instead. Who's party? I heard Jay Dill's having a party. Where? Uh, in him and Owen's room. Who else is going? I don't really know, but um, I heard it was going to be pretty fun. I heard there might be a lot of people going. Oh my god. Let's go. I can't. I totally have to get my homework done. I don't care done. about homework. I want to go. Well, I'm going to stay and work hard. Alright, we'll have fun doing that. Bye. We're going to go party. Bye. Bye. Congratulations! On behalf of the campus community, I am delighted to let you know you've been accepted to the University of Massachusetts Amherst. Oh my god, I worked so hard and it worked! <laughs> I didn't get in. Me neither. Bye! <laughs> Better luck next time, guys. <laughs> Juliet got into college because she worked hard in high school and tried her best. Elena and Tom didn't get into college because they blew off their work and partied instead. The student's success was based on their individual merit, which is why Juliet got into college and the others didn't. This is an example where meritocracy succeeds. Here we have two underprivileged school students trying to do work. Yo, you ready for this test tomorrow? No, man, I have so much to do and I have two jobs to go to after I do all this homework. I don't even know how I'm gonna pass the test. Bro, how am I supposed to pass the test when I can't even read this book or I can't afford a computer? I don't know, man, the schools really do us dirty. I'm out here writing on a napkin for my Look at our pencils. Come on, bro. Yo, UMass sent me a letter. I got it in the mail because I can't afford a computer. Oh, really? Yeah. I'll check online right now. I'll read it. Let's see. Let me check we are mine. sorry to inform you that you have been denied an acceptance to the University of Massachusetts Amherst. Congratulations. Damn. On behalf of our campus community, I'm delighted to let you know. I got accepted, man. Damn, all this hard work really not paying off. Dang, I wonder why. Let's see. All right. Man, $30,000? I can't afford that. I'm broke. That's all I got. Looks like I'm not going to college, man. I'm going to just have to work. Generally, underprivileged schools cannot fund as many extracurricular activities as elite or even suburban schools. This serves as a huge disadvantage to students in these underfunded areas who are bound to have less impressive and less full applications despite their test scores. Here, meritocracy worked in Owen's favor as he was granted admission to the university. Despite being accepted, the system ended up failing both Owen and Jack because Owen couldn't afford school and Jack didn't have the tools he needed to succeed and to get into college.